क्वेश्चन नंबर 176, विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर द इक्वेशन गिवन बिलो ऑप्शन वन रिएक्शन वन इज कैटेलाइज बाय कार्बोनिक एंड हाइड्रेज दिस इज करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट रिएक्शन वन प्राइमरली अकर्स इन प्लाज्मा दिस इज इनकरेक्ट बिकॉज कार्बोनिक एंड हाइड्रेज एंजाइम इज मेनली प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ आर एंड इट्स माइन्यूट क्वांटिटी इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा third option the reaction moves to the left when h plus concentration rises in tissues this is correct when h plus concentration increases then reaction moves in the left direction in tendency to achieve equilibrium option number 4 reaction 2 results in lowering of blood ph upon holding breath when a person holds breath then CO2 level increases in its blood when CO2 level increases then reaction moves in the forward direction as a result more h plus ions are formed and when more h plus ions are formed it results into lowering of blood ph so this is also a correct statement so correct answer to our question is option number 2 let's move on to the next question Question number 177 read the given statement select the correct option with respect to true false given in their context statement a medullary region of the brain harbors the pneumotaxic center to moderate respiratory function this is false statement because pneumotaxic center is present in pons not in the medulla b statement signals from pneumotaxic center can reduce the duration of inspiration this is true statement pneumotaxic center is also known as switch off point of inspiration statement c receptors associated with aortic arch primarily recognize changes in po2 this is incorrect statement this is false statement statement d respiratory rhythm center located in pons is chiefly responsible for maintaining respiratory rhythm this is also false because respiratory rhythm center is located in medulla oblongata so correct answer is fourth option A is false B is true C is false and D is also false answer fourth Let's move on to the next question which of the following is exhibited by tourist visiting high altitude areas such as Leh Ladakh and the options given are increase in red blood cell production increase in affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen proliferation of alveoli increase in size of alveoli leading to higher exchange of gases at high altitude po2 decreases and because of low po2 there is altitude sickness characterized by the symptoms like dizziness heart palpitation nausea vomiting within few days the person get acclimatized and during acclimatization rbc count increases so correct answer is option number 1 option number 2 option number 3 and option number 4 are incorrect options so correct answer to our question is option number 1 Let's move on to the next question. Question number 179 at the top of Mount Everest assuming that atmospheric pressure declines from 760 mmhg to 238 mmhg but oxygen in air remains 21% what will be the partial pressure of oxygen at mountain top? Partial pressure of oxygen is equals to total pressure multiplied by percentage of oxygen pressure at high altitude given is 238 mm of hg and percentage of oxygen is 21% 
and this comes out to be around 50 mm of Hg. So correct answer to our question is option number 2. Let's move on to the next question which is the last question of zoology section. Question number 180. Most of the oxygen transported in the oxygenated blood is and the options given are dissolved in plasma, in oxyhemoglobin form, in carbaminohemoglobin form and in carboxyhemoglobin form. Oxygen is transported in two forms. One is dissolved form and Another is oxyhemoglobin form. In dissolved form, only 3% of oxygen is transported and in oxyhemoglobin form, 97% of oxygen is transported. So, most of the oxygen transported in the oxygenated blood is in oxyhemoglobin form. So, correct answer to our question is option number 2. With this question, I would like to end zoology discussion of this test. I hope all your queries and doubts have been solved. Thank you very much for watching and best of luck for your next exam.